Um, Brea says, when you caption photos, do you suggest including information on the mapping lashes? Thanks. I do not. Mm -hmm. So actually, I'm a big fan of not. Oh, Espy says, happy um, bir hi, birthday girl. Hi, Espy. Um, and Victoria, hi. <laughs> I highly recommend never actually sharing what you're doing with your clients if you can prevent it. Um, you know, use words like going longer, going shorter, going thicker, going thinner when we're talking about diameter. Only because I've had the worst experience with clients coming in from other locations with what they are instructing me to do, but it never turns out the same because there's so much difference between brands of lashes on what their curl actually is, a B versus a C, Sometimes, dia I know diameter and length is a measurement in millimeters, but it doesn't really guarantee that there's any type of standard. So uh, I don't recommend using numbers with clients. Keep your own documentation. That's just yeah. my, in well, my, and, my opinion. And I don't think it matters too much as, as like an Instagram caption. I don't think potential clients are going to look at your photos and see what you're using and like that's not going to help you or hurt you yeah. necessarily they're not going to um, book with you because they see what you're yeah. using or what mapping technique it would be used. one thing if you were wanting to get noticed by other lash artists or like a brand or something like that maybe um or but the training yeah but i just like to make captions like look at these beautiful eyes like lashes make your pride. life better and yeah promoting what your life can be like if you have lashes like those are the kind of things that you should caption your pictures with mm -hmm. because who are you trying to attract yep. customers lash customers